Without a doubt, a critical time for any feed yard is when cattle first arrive and the 24 hours that follow. As you know, these cattle have often traveled long distances. They may be stressed from the haul. They're hungry, they're thirsty, they're unfamiliar and uncomfortable in their new surroundings. When stress levels are high, cattle get sick or injured more often. Cattle can also damage equipment and facilities. And even worse, you or one of your team members can get injured, which is an outcome nobody wants. Receiving new cattle is a complicated opportunity and we used to look at it as a stressful time because changing addresses for both people and animals can be a stress. What is really exciting is that when animals have changed their address, they're very impressionable. And so we can teach them that the first impression to their new home is a very, very positive situation. If we can gain absolute confidence and these animals know that there are caregivers here that have calm, consistent confidence in their, in their handling abilities, these animals are willing to eat and drink and rest in their new home. Nutrition, hydration, rest, those are the three requirements for these animals to be able to respond to a vaccine in the processing barn and to ultimately respond to those antigens or respond to exposure they may have received on the way through the marketing channels or on their ride here. Our focus today is to, is to weigh these new cattle. Our first priority is to, to introduce ourselves to these animals. So I'm gonna walk down these slants from, from near the cattle. And as we get motion there, I give them more distance. Taking just a second or two to ask these animals to do something for us and then relieve pressure changes their whole mindset. What our goal here today is to get a weight on these animals, but more importantly, create a situation where that they're ready for the adventure of moving to the scale, the adventure of moving to their new home pen, and ultimately will train them to go through the processing barn in a very orderly fashion. As we ask this first draft to leave the slant and go to the scale, it's important to make this a good experience for them. So our mindset is to empty a pen from the front of the animals. We would, we would always try to avoid using any voice. We would try to avoid getting behind any of these animals. And our goal here is to create fairly single file flow out of this slant onto the scale. So what I'm gonna do in my mind, I'm gonna show all of these animals where I am and very clearly communicate to me that I am a source of gentle pressure, but also a source of guidance. Cattle crave to see what is pressuring them, and they crave to see where you, want to where you expect them to go. We create flow from the front, and our goal here is to make a situation so that all of these animals will learn to trust the handler enough to walk by and go straight. This is gonna prepare these cattle to go through the processing barn. This is gonna prepare these cattle to be sorted. This will prepare these cattle to be worked with in a pen. It will prepare these cattle to be acclimated. You can see the difference in the working zone of all these animals. Some of these animals are already confident in, in walking by me. As I go with the flow here, that will relieve the pressure on this very sensitive animal. One of the things that, as I turn my back to these cattle, that, that change in position changed the cattle. As I turn there, that stops them. It's important to know that these animals have relatively, relatively limited depth perception and the reason we use some back and forth motion is to create a confidence in these animals that we understand their problem with depth perception and we're always willing to tell them where we expect them to go. Now at this point we have three very sensitive animals. Rather than create a potential for lameness here, it's easier for me just to walk outside this slant and, and allow these animals to go. We've got cattle come back off the scale and facing us, but this is okay. I can very gently convince them to go back on the scale just by simple, gentle, back and forth motion. And the situation here is, is if they ask me to back up, I back up. But just very, very subtle body motion will convince these animals to go on this scale. Once the cattle have been weighed, this is another opportunity to teach these cattle that they can trust us once more to walk by. So once the weight's gathered, then we go to the front and ask the cattle to go off the scale. As we ask these animals to leave the scale, 
it's, it's important that we anticipate what direction we expect them to go once they pass us. We want these animals to leave the scale and go in this direction. So it is important that we approach the animals from this fence over here. This enables those cattle to see what is pressuring them and see where we expect them to go and gets their minds ready to come in this direction. If we expected the cattle to go this way and go to this side, then we would come down this fence and prepare the animals to turn in this direction. If in fact these animals will allow me to be on the scale without creating too much stress, I will try to unload the scale. I will try to empty the scale from right here. If in fact that's too stressful for highly sensitive animals, we can achieve the same positive influence by just getting, giving these animals more distance. We can, we can work with these animals and encourage them to leave the scale from right out here. If in fact, if in fact my, my being here is a stress, then I can ask these animals to leave the scale from right here. I can create motion, I can create motion, I go with the front and as those cattle leave, my movement with the front will draw the cattle from the back. So my dream is that I can empty this scale from right out here. Even at this distance, I'm achieving what I want to do by showing these cattle once more that they can interact with me from their right eye and use their left eye to watch out for things that they're not sure of. we would like to outline the correct method for taking animals to their new home pen for the first time. We've weighed these cattle and given them two opportunities to pass by handlers on the way to their home pen. We've actually asked these animals to go past their home pen gate and they have stopped and in about a matter of 15 seconds now they've decided there's no place else to go and they've all turned around and it's, and it's our goal that it be their idea to volunteer to come to their home pen. So what I'm going to do is go back once more in the front of these animals and ask them to come by me and see if I can create flow into their home pen. I'll try to, this alley is a little bit narrow, so I'm gonna work from inside here. I can achieve the same thing and once more create some forward motion in the leaders of these cattle and as we create motion in the front of this group of cattle and get some good activity and motion in the front, what I will do is go with the leaders and give them more distance and my change in position will draw the other cattle to the leaders. Very, very orderly flow. Our goal is to teach these animals to trust us enough to walk by and wherever they go, they go straight. Very, very stressful on cattle to have them want to circle or turn their heads. So our, our goal in working with these animals is to continue to, to convince them and teach them that, that they can look to a caregiver for guidance and confidence and that we are consistent in doing these things. Very nice example of how cattle love to see what is pressuring them and then simultaneously love to understand where you expect them to go. So it's okay to ride or walk part way up the back of the pen and just make one pass across the pen. Our goal and our intent is not to force them to the bunk, but to actually, actually show them that, that you are in there with them. <clears throat> The way we would encourage these animals to go to the bunk would be actually to take them away from the bunk and put general pressure on them and ask them to volunteer to go to the front of the pen. Some of the animals are going to the tank and we don't want to interrupt that. One of the goals of receiving cattle properly is to create a situation where all nutrition goes into health and gain and none of the nutrition is required to support the nutritional requirements to anxiety. Actually spend a minute or two longer to weigh a set of cattle, a minute or two longer to invest in taking them to their home pen 
in turn, that time investment right up front will result in hours and hours of saved time in pulling sick animals, in treating lame cattle, in treating animals that will not eat. So we're, we're asking ourselves to focus on time up front that will save, save time in, in other areas of the operation. The first 24 hours after cattle are received are critical for their health, nutrition, hydration, and rest. Cattle need these three things for the vaccination programs to work. When possible, approach cattle from the front. Work cattle using low-stress techniques from the moment they are received. It will save you time later.